Hey Z fans, today I will be reviewing the Dragon Ball Z model kit of Android 16 by Irwin Toys from 2002. Got this on eBay with Perfect Cell and Dr. Zero all together for $19 plus shipping. Time to open it up. Okay, when you get everything out of the box, this is what you're looking at. There are a total of 41 pieces that make up this figure. I'm expecting this one to go a little more quickly since I have a little more experience now and I put Dr. Zero together just last week. Let's put it together. Okay, so that took me about 20 minutes. wasn't that hard at all. However, when I received this Android kit, it actually came with the full Android and a half Android. <laughs> so I got to play with the parts a little bit and get used to it. Um, if anybody needs some spare parts, let me know because I can't do anything with this. Okay, height. 
he is over seven and a half inches, almost eight inches tall, which is cool because these are kind of in scale. Like uh, in Android 16, was very big in the cartoon. Tien was also big, but he's still shorter than Android 16. And then same thing with Doctor Zero. So that's pretty cool. All right, articulation. Up, knee, feet turn. Okay, in the arms, this one you got up, no outwards, elbow, swivels at the wrist. Okay, now this arm, there is no elbow because this model kit has a little special feature of a spring loaded arm. However, the spring that it came with is so miniature tiny. Oh my god, I couldn't believe how small it was. So, I didn't expect much action here. <laughs> Look what happens when I press it. You just gotta press this little button on underneath his arm. <laughs> yeah, that went far. <laughs> Holy crap, you can do some damage with that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very sure I put it in there right. Um, <laughs> I was going to take his arm apart again, just to double check, but once you close that arm, you're pretty much screwed. There's no way to get it back open. Um, <laughs> So I'm not going to use that feature anyway, so I could, I could care less. Okay, and then he also swivels at the waist, and he turns in the head. There's no up and down. Uh, yeah, so that's it, art articulation, okay. Now um, the appearance is not bad. Uh, the color is a little off if you look at his rubber costume compared to the plain green, um, but his face is not bad. I was really worried that this figure would look terrible, but it's it's actually not that bad. Uh, I wish on the pants and his arms, I wish they chose black instead of gray. But then again, the 5-inch Irwin also had gray. So Here's a little comparison. Okay. Not bad, they're both cool figures, uh, but of course with this model kit you get a little more articulation because you can go a little bit outwards, you know, on the 5 inch you can't do that, so you can put them in a squat position, you know, a typical DBZ squat or something like that, you know, so pretty nifty. Um, that's about it, uh, it's not a bad model kit, it's uh, probably my favorite so far. So if you can find him on eBay, <laughs> good luck with that. I mean, when he is on eBay, he's not there long, um, unless the seller is asking for a ridiculous price. Um, yeah, not a bad figure. Stay tuned for some still pictures comparisons, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.